Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Simons High School 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. My name is Terry Langell, and as a Vice Principal at Simons, I am very honored and pleased to be your chairperson for this special occasion. Enjoy the ceremony. Would you now please acknowledge the playing of O Canada? It is now my pleasure to call upon Aidan Timmins Votor, one of our top students, to deliver the salutatory address. Thank you, Mr. Langell, for your kind introduction. To my family, friends, classmates, and faculty, I am truly honored to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the Simons High Class of 2020. The ceremony is not like any before. However, it is just as, if not more important, that we celebrate this extraordinary grad class. I would like to say how overjoyed I am to be standing here and give a huge thanks to everyone who made this possible. Today is not only about us graduates, but it's also about everyone who pushed us and supported us since the day we started school. I would like to say thank you to all parents, teachers, friends, and other staff who believed in us. You've all contributed to our success in your own way, and we will forever be thankful. When I started at Simons High, I was overwhelmed by how massive the school is. I was a shy, introverted student who thought it would be the longest four years of my life. Instead, it was the complete opposite. Getting involved was the absolute best thing I've ever done. It gave me the chance to step out of my comfort zone, to have fun, and to meet some remarkable people. The relationships we have made throughout the past four years will last a lifetime. I've never met such a diverse group of individuals. The class of 2020 is truly unique. Together we have been through a lot and have created lasted, lasting memories. From singing karaoke at the grad class overnighter to shouting the cheer from the bleachers in the gym. Seniors tend to get emotional during graduation, but we shouldn't feel upset. We should feel proud that we made it this far. As Dr. Seuss once said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. This ceremony is a celebration of our success what we have accomplished, and a chance for us to prove that we are prepared for the future. This milestone in our lives has made our families very proud, and let me just say, this is the perfect time to ask them for money. Most people will say that high school is the highlight of our lives, but that isn't true. This was only the first chapter. I wish you all the best with whatever your futures may be. We are the class of 2020, and together we will always bleed green and gold. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed the ceremony. Thank you, Aiden. Ms. Zoe Watson, superintendent, will now bring greetings from the Anglophone South School District. Ms. Watson is a dedicated individual who works hard to achieve the goals set before her. She is an avid supporter of our school and continues to make decisions based on student need. We are very pleased to welcome Ms. Watson and we look forward to her remarks. My name is Zoe Watson, Superintendent of Schools for Anglophone South School District. 
and it is my pleasure to have an opportunity to offer the graduates of Simons High School congratulations and best wishes on behalf of the district and members of the District Education Council as you graduate from 13 years of public school education. At this time of year, I have the pleasure of attending year-end celebrations and graduation ceremonies. This is the first time for me to offer virtual greetings to our 1,800 graduates from Campobello Island to Sussex. And thank you, Mr. Keating, for the opportunity to speak to the class of 2020 of Simons High School. I know the last few months have been challenging for everyone, your families, the staff at your school, and for you as students, as education moved from the classroom to the online world in April. This was a major change that happened quickly for you and your teachers, and congratulations to those who were able to complete courses for credit online. I always encourage graduates to be lifelong learners, and the last few months have illustrated how we have all learned, regardless of our age. We have learned how to keep ourselves healthy and safe. We have learned the phrases physical distancing, family bubbles, window visits, and the importance of wearing face masks, all new to us. Another message to graduates is the importance of being resilient, that there will be disappointments and things that don't go your way. And you have experienced that this spring. You, your families, school staff, and your communities are disappointed that we can't gather for our traditional proms, marches, graduation ceremonies, and safe grad celebrations. This spring has pushed all of us to be problem solvers and to work to figure out how to recognize and celebrate this milestone in your life with your family, friends, and the greater school community. Graduates, your school has prepared you for the next steps, be it further study, an apprenticeship program, directly to work, or perhaps some, you need some time to figure out what the next steps will be. The first leg of the journey is now complete, and you must continue to learn, to be resilient, and to be a problem solver. Regardless of where your path will take you next year, remember your community. You live in a beautiful area of our province. You may leave the area for a time, but always come back. Your community has been very supportive of you. Remember to give back. Look for ways to volunteer and help others. Thank you to the administration of the school for the leadership that you provide each and every day and to the teaching and support staff. We acknowledge all that you have done for these graduates during the school day and the many extracurricular opportunities offered after school hours and on the weekends. These are all opportunities for learning. To the proud families and community members, I would like to recognize you and your contributions. Education is about all of us working together. As the old saying goes, it takes a community to raise a child, and school is a partnership with family and community. In closing, graduates, I ask you to thank those who have supported you along this 13-year journey. A family member, a staff member, a coach, a mentor, this is the time to remember them and let them know that they made a difference for you. Congratulations, Class of 2020, 
and all of the best in your future. Thank you, Ms. Watson. It is with pleasure that I introduce Mr. Gary Keating, who has been the principal of Simons High for the last 21 years. Mr. Keating is also a graduate of Simons from the class of 1979. He is the perfect example of Simon's pride and is a great role model for all students. In his own words, he believes personal drive fuels success. This is a motto which, we, which all of us can strive to attain. Without further ado, I call upon Mr. Keating to deliver the principal's message. Thank you, Mr. Langell and Mr. Dumas, for your dedication and continuous uh, commitment to Simons High School. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, staff members, and students, welcome to our official graduation ceremony to recognize and celebrate our graduation class of 2020. Please join me in a round of applause for the 158 graduates that have endured what no one would have seen possible. No public gatherings to celebrate this important milestone. I would like to thank all the individuals that have worked extremely hard to make this day possible. A lot of hard work and collaboration with many ideas were, and now we are able to produce such a beautiful day for our very deserving graduates. Thank you. Over the past 70 years, thousands of young minds have received a first class education from this wonderful school. Our motto, education today for tomorrow, certainly rings true, especially now, as future plans begin to unfold for our graduates. Today, Simons High School graduated 158 students, which includes 17 high honor students and 36 honor students. Later, you will witness many of these graduates uh, receive numerous awards for their outstanding contributions while attending Simons High School. Many extracurricular activities still occurred, even though our school year was cut short. Our athletic department was as busy as a beehive once again. As you all know, winning isn't everything. However, coaching and learning about sportsmanship is very important. Sportsmanship is a great example of winning in life, which instills lifelong positive attributes in students. Also, a huge shout out to our cheerleading team on winning yet another provincial championship banner. Congratulations. I must acknowledge the dedication and hard work of our student council, grad class, and yearbook committees, as they did a marvelous job uh, to make this an awesome and memorable year for all students to cherish with pride for many years. In early September 2016, our graduates were actually a nervous group of 13 and 14 year olds gathering together for the first time as freshmen in our gymnasium. We welcome the class of 2020 with open arms and Simon's pride. My message that morning was very simple. Have pride in your school and get involved because in four short years you will be graduating. It is now June 2020. Four years have gone by in a flash, and this marks the end of your high school career. Now you begin the next chapter in your life, so enjoy the experience as it unfolds before you. Simons High School has been in operation for 70 years, and the success of our school can be directly attributed to our caring and dedicated professional staff. This year, three teachers are retiring, Mrs. Irene Michelson, Mrs. Nancy Ryan Henderson, and Ms. Edmond Cormier. Also, educational assistant Mrs. Pearl Matson will retire. All four retiring staff members have been instrumental in providing a first-class education at Simons High. Please join me in a round of applause. To the graduates, as you celebrate your personal accomplishment of graduation, please take the time to reminisce about the positive 
impact Simons High had on you. Please take the time to, sin to sincerely thank all the people in your life for their guidance and patience in helping each reach this important uh, milestone. As our motto states, united to learn. Please take the time to thank your parents, grandparents, and other family members for their generous support, and most importantly, for their unconditional love, which they have given to you for so many years. As I tell my own children, personal drive fuels success. And now that you have experienced the success of completing high school, those words, personal drive fuels success, can now be rearranged to say, success fuels personal drive. Finally, on behalf of the Simons High School family, I send sincere congratulations to this wonderful class. And now, you can certainly state, I graduated from Simons High School. Simons Pride continues with the class of 2020. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Keating. I am proud to introduce one of our guidance counselors, Mr. Brad McDonald. This individual has devoted countless hours to make Simons the success it is today. His enthusiasm and dedication to this school exemplifies the true CB spirit. Mr. McDonald will now present the award for Outstanding Student of the Year. Thank you, Mr. Langell. My job here today is to present the Simons High School Outstanding Student of the Year. This award was created to acknowledge the fine accomplishments of outstanding students at Simons High School. Simons recognizes that high school is an experience involving more than just studies. It is a combination of academics, school projects, activities, sports, spirit, and camaraderie. To support the accomplishments of outstanding students, Simons has created an award that includes a silver trophy to be displayed permanently at the school, a certificate of achievement for the recipient to mark this accomplishment, and a $500 scholarship to the post-secondary institution the student will attend. This award certainly fits the outstanding accomplishments of the student in and outside of the walls of Simons. The student exemplifies what is meant to be a CB, and the hard work and enthusiasm this student put into every facet of his life is evident. He was a student council president, the provincial student council president, the class valedictorian of 2020. He is a decorated cadet. He has received the highest standing in many of his courses. He was awarded the prestigious Lord Beaverbrook Scholarship to attend UMB in the fall. But more than that, during the school closures during, during COVID-19, this young man became a representative of not just how our Simons grads were coping with this new reality, but how grade 12 students across New Brunswick were dealing with the disappointment of losing a normal graduation year. Whether you saw him on CTV News or CBC.ca, he bravely accepted the new challenges of being a student leader during a global pandemic and always spoke with hope and optimism. His message brought our grad class together and let people know how special it is to be a Simons High School graduate. We will certainly miss our outstanding student of the year, but we know he's on to an extremely bright future. My congratulations goes to the Simons High School's 2020 Outstanding Student of the Year, Louis Kernian. Congratulations, Louis. Thank you. Congratulations, Louis, and thank you, Mr. McDonald. The next two awards are very prestigious. To receive the Burks Medal and or Governor General's Medal is a true honor. Mr. Keating will now make the presentations. In our gym lobby, there, are, there is a beautiful oak cabinet known as the Honor Roll. There are eight plaques which date back to 1950 when Simons High first opened its doors on Bayside Drive. Each year, the plaques receive new additions to the respective categories. Six of the honored categories have already been identified. Yearbook editors, Sarah Williams and Mallory Ross. Student Council co-presidents, Louis Kernigan and Abby Caldwell. Grad class president, Hannah McDonald. Class valedictorian, Louis Kernigan. Female Athlete of the Year, Brianna Barber. Male Athlete of the Year, Luke Stewart. 
Please join me in a round of applause for these seven wonderful students. Today, Simons High will complete the honor roll and present the Governor General's Medal and the Burke's Medal. The Governor General's Medal. The Governor General's Medal is awarded to a grade 12 student at every high school in Canada during graduation. This prestigious award recognizes the graduate with the highest academic standing in their graduation class. The highest average is determined by calculating all credit courses on transcript. In grade nine, it was noted that this individual would certainly be a contender for this honor in grade 12 because of his remarkable average that year. This young man had an impressive average of 96.7%. Examples of his academic strength include English 12-1, 97%. Modern History 11-1, 100%. Physics 11-1, 95%. Biology 12-1, 99%. Pre-Calculus 11, 96%. Pre-calculus 12, 95%. And this guy has some carpentry skills to boot. Framing and sheathing, 97%. Milling cabinet, 97%. This individual will be, will be pursuing an engineering degree at UNB this fall with a $40,000 Beaverbrook scholarship in his pocket. I'm quite certain this young man will make us proud with his post-secondary career and future goals. It gives me great pleasure to present the 2020 Governor General's Academic Medal to Louis Kernighan. Now my favorite award, the Burks Medal. The Burks Medal has a long tradition of recognizing the graduate from each high school who displayed outstanding leadership during their high school career. This year's recipient has played an integral role in student leadership, academics, extracurricular activities, and most importantly, the positive promotion of Simons High School for the past four years. This student led a very busy life during her four years at Simons High. She was heavily involved in a variety of activities, including student council, spirit committee, grade nine orientation, grade eight open house, and our annual haunted house. Also numerous social activities during her four years. This amazing high honor student with the positive buoyant personality beams with Simon's pride. And she certainly thinks of others before herself. She will continue to give to society as she has given so graciously to Simon's when she enters the Bachelor of Arts program at Mount Allison University this fall. It gives me great pleasure to present the 2020 Burks Medal to Abigail Caldwell. Thank you. Congratulations, Abby and Louie. Thank you, Mr. Keating. I now ask Mr. Dumas, Vice Principal, to come forward. Mr. Dumas has worked extremely hard over the years to help students achieve their goals. His continued support of this school has shown that he is a true CB. Now it is time for the graduation class of 2020 to be introduced. Graduates, please take a moment to reflect and think about loving parents, guardians, family members, dedicated teachers, and close friends who guided and supported you throughout this journey. Thank you, Mr. Langell. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, guests and graduates. It is now time for the presentation of the diplomas to the Simons High Class of 2020. Mackenzie Allen. Dawson Arsenal. Devon Arsenal. 
Ashley Ashbridge, Caleb Babin, Brianna Barber, Kyle Beals, Nathan Beshera, Cody Bodily, Michaela Braden, John Brennan, Jeffrey Bridges, Brandon Brighton, Gregory Brown. Joshua Brown, Mitchell Burke, Connor Bustard, Mackenzie Bustard, Abigail Caldwell, Benjamin. Cannon, Travis Carson, Brittany Chaston, Kyle Clayton, Raiden Coles, Jaron Connell. Maria Cosman, Cohen Craft, Jeffrey Sear, Bree Lynn Daigle, Kennedy Daigle, Cody the Levy. Emily Dobson, Angel Donaldson, Darian Dort, Joshua Driscoll, Megan Evans, Cole Ferris. Heather Galbraith, Brianna Gallant, Jessica Gallant, Joseph Ganong, Zachary Garvin. Cheyenne Gionette, Sydney Godso, Haley Godwin, Patrick Goggin, Maya Green, McKenna. Guthrie, Aliyah Hashi, Kira Hashi, Brady Hammond, Rachel Harmeling, Destiny Harvey. Eva Hastings, Lucas Hazeman, Shay Hickey, Mariah Hovey, 
Can we please have a round of applause for your first group of graduates? Jacob Hubbard, Stephen Hunt, Emily Ingersoll, Brandon Isaac, Catherine Janes, Taylor Janes. Declan Jardine, Jacob Ryan Jones, Ariel Julian, Louis Kernigan, Connor Kilpatrick, Fraser. King, Randy Kingston, Ashley Kirk, Caleb Crumry, Colin Langell, Abigail Levitt. Jenna LeBlanc, Alex Legier, Sarah Legier, Mariah Legier, Jason Levy, Sarah. Lister, Custer Lopez, Chelsea Lynch, Hannah McDonald, Ryan Makem, Caleb. Mackenzie, Nathan Mackey, Andrew McKinnon, Hannah Martin, Aaron McPhee, Gracie McCoy. Marion McCullough, Madison McCachran Essen, Noah Mellies, Rylan Merritt, Dylan Moore, Allison. Morell, Nathan Morrison, Tanisha Mosier, Hannah Mott, Courtney Munster, Victoria Mullen. Tia Negus, Chloe Nelson, Samantha Nice, Thomas Nice, Jenna Noftel, Michaela Ulet. Marcus Parent, K. 
Caleb Parks. Connor Parks. Jared Pelche. Ryan Penny. Evan Pierce. Riley Poirier. Tori Polly LaFrancois. Please have a round of applause for our second group of graduates. Emily Porter, Jenna Reed, Cameron Reed, Dylan Roberts, Riley Robinson, Colby Rogers. Caleb Rogers. Caleb Rogers. Madison Roker. Mallory Ross. Kira Rowe. Zoe. Row Nikki Sonye Adrian Scott Andrea Sharkey Sarah Sherwood Tyler Shahneman, Desiree Saros Alibi, Tristan Spite, Luke Stewart, Zachary Stewart. Jonathan Strobridge, Colton Sutton, Nicholas Thorne, Aiden Timmons Votor, Ryan Tobin. Brad Totten, Christopher Trainor, Madison Tremaine Byers, Haley Tremblay, Nicholas Trot Love, Abigail. Werner, Chelsea Werner, Brandon Ward, Emma White, Janaea Wilcox, Sarah Williams, Kale Williams, Logan Winter, Miranda Wartman, Aiden Wise, Cameron Erksa, 
Craig Yurko. Round of applause for your graduates of Simons High class of 2020. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Mr. Dumas. It is my sincere pleasure to introduce Louis Kernigan, the class valedictorian for 2020. Thank you, Mr. Langell. And hello, family, faculty, friends, and students of the Simons High School graduating class of 2020. I would like to begin by saying what an immense honor and privilege it is for me to be able to deliver these remarks today on behalf of our class. I would also like to thank all parents, teachers, volunteers, and others who have helped to get us here. We couldn't have done it without you. Now, I have thoroughly enjoyed my time here at Simon Sias School. I, alongside the hundreds of other students that go here, have been privileged to learn and grow here. We have made many memories here at our second home, some happy, some sad, and some just outright insane. I would like you to think about all those memories right now. During our time at Simons, we wore pink for breast cancer awareness and blue for men's health. We paid our respects on Remembrance Day, and we stood for the anthem day after day. We had a blast at Cabaret, and we got spooked at Haunted House. We made a lot of new friends, but we lost some along the way. We learned new skills, and we tried new things. And we made a lot of mistakes, but that's okay. You and I... We will always be CVs, and Simons High School will always be a part of us. But as many of you may concur, life as a high school student does not come without its challenges. You see, it's a package deal. Of course, there's the typical course load challenges, trying to balance academics, extracurriculars, and sports, and friend group issues. But these past few months have been nothing close to typical. They've been extraordinary bizarre, and sometimes unbearable. Now, a characteristic valedictory speech would involve a nice inspirational quote from Google Images and a nice inspirational pep talk to wash it down. You see, I was thinking about doing something like that, but then I realized that our grad year has been nothing close to characteristic. So, here's my imparting wisdom for our class who are about to be let loose on a society afflicted by many unprecedented hardships. A great hero of mine, Sir Winston Churchill, once said, a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity, while an optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. While I'm not sure that Sir Winston could have predicted the situation we find ourselves in today, his words contain a timeless message that I believe will serve us well in the days months and years to come. 
With the amount of negativity traversing the world right now, it can be very easy to slip into an aura of pessimism. But I, for one, think that Sir Winston said it best. During the Second World War, a similar wave of gloom engulfed the world, and brave young Canadians stepped up to the plate to defend our values of freedom and liberty for all. For many years, a sense of doom invaded the hearts and minds of the people. We were facing a tough and disciplined adversary who we were not always sure we could defeat. All our grandparents could do was dig in and fight. And so they did. And then, one day, after an innumerable amount of sacrifice, both at home and abroad, the sun broke through the clouds and we entered into a new era of prosperity. As we move forward in the next chapter of our lives, life is going to demand that we step up to our own plate. There is a great deal of darkness in the world today, and we will be faced with many challenges in the months to come. Make no mistake, it will not be easy. But I believe that if we follow the example of our heroes, past and present, that we will overcome anything that is thrown at us. So, my friends, if you only take one thing from this speech, let it be this. Be the optimist. And if you can't be the optimist, at least be the fighter. Because eventually, the sun will permeate the clouds once more, and we will stand victorious. Thank you. Thank you, Louis. I would like to thank those who helped in producing this ceremony. Teachers, educational assistants, students, custodians, administrative assistants, and alumni. A special shout out to Mr. Scott, who took the lead on this wonderful production of this virtual ceremony. The tireless efforts of so many build and maintain our strong school traditions and ensure that Simon's pride continues. Mr. Sleep will now close the ceremony by leading us in singing, God Save the Queen. Thank you.